Hey y'all, today in our holiday baking, we're gonna be making chocolate fudge. And I know that fudge is a real popular candy for the Christmas holidays. So we are just gonna get started. And I will bring you down. And I'm going to turn my pot on medium. You want to bring your um, mixture that we're gonna to put together here uh, bring it to a boil on medium. So we're going to combine a 7 ounce container of marshmallow cream This is always a little bit hard to get out Okay, that looks good with um, one and a half cups of sugar. So there's one. That's a little too much. And a half cups of your sugar. Evaporated milk, just regular evaporated milk. You need two-thirds of a cup. And you need a tablespoon of butter. And this is just regular butter. And you need um, just a little bit of salt. This is, I'm just using it out of here today instead of my regular Thing. This is pink Himalayan salt, and I'm doing about half a teaspoon. So you have your heat on, you have all your ingredients so far in your pot, and you're just going to bring this up. It'll take a little while, bring it up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you want to continue to stir. Uh, don't stop because if you do, um, it could scorch. And you want to uh, keep, continue stirring with it boiling for seven minutes. So, when I have done that much, I'll come back and we'll uh, finish up. So I've beaten the batter for uh, seven minutes, and now it's time to add the rest of the things, so I'll just um, try to get you close as I can. This burner is hot. There, that'll work. So this is what it looks like from the heat and all. It's turned a, um, a little bit of a golden color. So you want to put in, uh, I put half a pack of semi-sweet chocolate and then a whole pack of milk chocolate so when you put those in just stir it up until your chocolate melts this makes a very creamy fudge And it's already hardening. And I want to put about a teaspoon of vanilla. And if you want nuts, go ahead and add those. We don't usually uh, eat a whole lot of nuts in our food. So I'll not add nuts. But like I say, this is already hardening. And trying to get that vanilla in there mixed, and then I'll put it in the in the pan. So I'm going to use one of these silicone um, bread uh, loaf pans. You can use an eight by eight, or you can use whatever size you want, depending on how thick you want your fudge but uh, that's what I decided to do today is use that 
so it's not going to pour. I'm going to have to to just scoop it out. And like I said, this is a real creamy fudge. It's one I think you'll like. And my husband and daughter don't know I'm filming, so you might be hearing them sing. Okay. Now I'm just going to flatten this into the pan, or the loaf pan. You don't need to grease it because there's the butter uh, in it. It helps keep it from sticking, and it shouldn't stick anyway. But I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it cool down. And I'll take it out of this um, loaf pan, and I'll let you see what it looks like. But for now, there it is. And it's very warm. So, I'll see you back in a few minutes with a taste test. Our uh, chocolate fudge has finished, and uh, I've turned it out onto a sheet, and let you see it, <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut a piece and taste it. It hardened beautifully. It's very firm. And here is just a little piece I cut. Mmm, that is good. That is really good. <clears throat> it's creamy and chocolatey and very, very good. So, anyway, I hope you give it a try and that you like it. And um, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you soon.